In this video, you are going to learn what is electrical earthing, how to earth a control panel, electrical motor, and other electronic devices. What are the benefits of the earthing and what would happen if you don't earth any control panel or other electronic equipment? We will show you that concept with the help of animation so that anybody with little background of electrical and electronics would be able to understand the concept easily. Not only that, you will also see some videos from industry to show you how earthing is done in control panels and electrical motors. We have a very important surprise for you guys and big announcement today. If you watch this video till the end, definitely you will get to know what is that. Let's start with what is electrical earthing. To connect the metal parts of the electrical appliances or installations such as electrical control panels or electrical motors to the earth is called earthing or grounding. Earthing can be set as a connection of neutral points of the power supply systems to the earth so as to avoid or minimize danger during the discharge of electrical energy. To understand why electrical earthing is important, let's understand this concept with the help of very simple electrical control panel example. Normally we got three wires of a power connection in any control panel, hot wire, neutral wire and ground wire. Let's suppose if hot wire gets damaged and it touches the metal case of a control panel. Case is now connected to hot wire. Now if any field worker or engineer touches the control panel, he will get a strong electrical shock. This is because in this situation current have only one path and that's via human body to the ground. And current will flow from the control panel to the ground via person touching the control panel. Now if you got another arrangement where ground wire is connected to electrical control panel case, ground wire normally have a very low resistance. That's why ground wire will offer very low resistance path to the flow of current. Current will flow from the panel to the ground via earth wire instead of home and body which have a more resistance as compared to the ground wire. As per basics of electricity, current will always flow to the least resistance path. As we connect live or hot wire via breaker, in such cases current will increase due to the least resistance on that path and it would trip the breaker that would disconnect the power. Now if field engineer or technician touches that panel he would be protected as home and body have a more resistance as compared to other path offered by ground. Now I'm going to explain you how actually earthing process is done in any control panel. You can see the wire coming in that's in green color that is connected to the door of control panel which is then connected to the back plate and then you can also see here we got in three power supply connections. First one is your hot wire connection. The second one is a neutral one and the third one connection you can see the green cable which is for the earthing. That's how in any control panel you can perform earthing process. Now let's talk about how earthing is done in electrical motors. Before we talk about that it's very vital to understand what are the key components for electrical earthing system. The first one on the list is electrical earthing wire which you can see right now that's connected to the electrical motor. Second thing is earthing lead. The conductor connecting to the earth continuity conductor or earth wire and the earth electrode it's called earthing lead. The joint where earthing lead meets the earth wire is called connecting point. Third and very important thing is earth plate. The final part of the earthing system which is buried under the ground which is connected to the earthing lead is known as earth electrode or earth plate. Now let's understand how earthing is done for electrical motors. You can see here earth wire or earth continuity conductor is connected to the motor which is connected to the connecting point here and then it is connected to the earth lead and then it is connected to earth electrode. Earth electrodes and earth plates are actually buried under the ground. That's how you will perform earthing process for electrical motors. Now let's talk about the big surprise. I would start weekly sessions with you guys where I would be talking to you live on the call on Instagram live. So if anybody is interested, the Instagram information is provided into description of this video. You can connect me over there. I'm going to soon announce for our live session where you can talk to me and ask any questions. That's all for today. If you like this video, consider hitting the like button. If in the case you haven't subscribed this YouTube channel, consider subscribing. Until next video, take care and Allah Hafiz.